Inferno stars Tom Max and Felicity Jones. Robert Landon and Cena Brooks, a doctor, must solve the mystery of a killer virus. Inferno is the third chapter of the Da Vinci Code trilogy, the Dan Brown trilogy. Da Vinci Code came out 10 years ago. I guess lots of people loved it. I'll let you know how I feel about the other two movies. They were fine. They were ridiculous. Maybe they were convoluted. Da Vinci Code was slow. Before the movie came out, I tried reading the book. I had to stop because my dad's religious. I remember one ridiculous moment of Da Vinci Code because it was in the advertising. Tom Hanks throws a cylinder up into the air for a dramatic effect. The villain freaks out. No! Motherfucker! You see, if this was reality, you would smash a cylinder into the floor. Maybe my friend Timothy Anderson is mad that I swore. Oh, why'd you have to swear, man? Did anybody ask for Inferno? Everyone loved the book, plus Hollywood loves trilogies, I guess because of the original Star Wars trilogy. I wasn't excited for Inferno. The trailers were fine. Inferno was terrible. It's ridiculous and convoluted. Is it the worst of the trilogy? Oh, undeniably. Inferno only has one positive aspect, Tom Hanks. He was good as always. He tried saving this movie, but he can't. If he gave any bad performances, I haven't seen them. I have a quick random side note. I heard he played a villain in Cloud Atlas. He was praised. A random YouTuber said he would be a good choice for Lex Luthor. I can't see him as Lex. A lot of people naturally didn't like Jesse Eisenberg. I liked him. What? No! Robert Landon has amnesia. He can't remember the last 48 hours, and yet he can't remember the word coffee. He has headaches, and he's acting like he's suffering a really bad hangover. Oh. 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 Fuck. This movie had some really loud sound effects, and yeah, they were annoying. Felicity Jones was fine. I hastily thought she was good. We gradually learned about her character. It doesn't take long for us to know she has OCD. There's a huge plot twist concerning her. It came out of nowhere. It'll be like Jason Bourne revealing he's gay. Anyway, Felicity is in Rogue One. It looks cool. I won't be surprised if her character survives. Robert has a few visions of hell because he's familiar with Dante's Inferno. These visions were disturbing, and yes, I know they were supposed to be disturbing. I didn't enjoy watching them. I was concerned they would occur throughout the whole movie, but thankfully that wasn't the case. I haven't forgotten the bloody flood, which sounds more silly than disturbing. Everyone in these visions were disfigured. In fact, there were a few twisted heads. They were on backwards. I laughed. I'm not kidding. There's a random hallucination involving a snake. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If Inferno were a horror movie, that snake would have bit someone's head off. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> I dropped his nose. <laughs> Inferno was choppy edited. I don't think the last two movies had choppy editing. The beginning was choppy edited. Plus, it was revisited a little later. Chris Dobman compared Inferno to National Treasure and Jason Bourne. It's not a bad comparison, but I say Inferno is like National Treasure mixed with James Bond or 24. I'm excited for 24 Legacy. It looks cool. Damn it! Inferno gets a D. It's a shitty movie. It's a ridiculous convoluted mess. If you didn't like Animals and Demons, you really should avoid Inferno. Have you seen Inferno? Did you like it or hate it? As always, thanks for watching guys. Shares are appreciated. Doctor Strange comes out next weekend. I may have to wait another week to see it because I'm having surgery. I'll talk to you later.